I recently published an article in JAVA, the Journal for uh, the Association for Vascular Access, and it was about needless connectors and reflux. My study consisted of testing 13 different needless connectors. And what we tested for was the amount of reflux on connection and disconnection for each connector. We also tested bi-directional flow control, the ability for the connector to shut itself off automatically when pressure changes inside the body. We looked at positive and negative displacement, neutral and anti-reflux types of connectors. And we need to quantify how much reflux that each of these connectors produce. And what we found out was they had various times when they refluxed, some on connection, some on disconnection. We can get reflux uh, from the pressure changes. When the pump stops or, or the bag is dropped below the level of the insertion site, there are physiological pressure changes with inside of our body, like coughing and sneezing and, and vomiting can cause reflux back up into the catheter. The clinical implications of this study is one of patient safety. The more blood we have in the catheter, the more occlusions we have, the more places we have for bacteria to grow, and the more risk of bloodstream infections. You know, ultimately we need to keep blood out of the catheter. The two important takeaways of this study are all connectors reflux blood, and there are no neutral connectors. The anti-reflux devices have the least amount of reflux. Because of the silicone diaphragm that's inside of the connector that automatically closes with pressure changes. According to this study, the anti-reflux uh, connect needleless connector seems to have the best uh, ability to keep blood out of the catheter upwards of 90% um, less blood in the catheters than the other types of needleless connectors. So considering that this is a 50% failure rate of peripheral IV, anything that can be done to prolong the life uh, of an IV catheter should be adopted.